Like, I swear he's supposed to meet you, or... No, well... No. Never mind. I think I confused this with something else. I could swear he actually visits the village, but... Uh, you done yet? What? It looks like you want to say something. The spirit gate? Are you telling me Lika went through it? Tch, you're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't go gonna go in there either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, go ask that old man Nishaku to be your guide. Isun, is that really you? Who's there? Isun, it's me, Mia. Hmm? Oh, Mia. So you finally come home. And I bet you've become a real celestial envoy. Just like Grandpa Ishaku and everyone knew you would be. But why won't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it. What? And what's with this celestial envoy business? Give me a break. What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. So does that mean you don't paint anymore? We Pankos are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? I said put a cork in it. If you like painting so much, go for it. But you can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. Isum! Go away. We're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you with your boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Emmy. Isun, wait! Isun, are you really going to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find a little Oina girl by any chance? Come on, Emmy. We have wasted too much time here already. Let's go already. Oh, Isun. You may have your reasons, but that is pretty harsh. Oh, there's more of Josh pets? Okay. Splendid. Okay, Ami. <clears throat> the spirit gate is further on, further on this way. Even we punkles hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster. But I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around the there. After all, no one but the chief of the Ponko clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze. It's even more confusing than the part Kai guided us through. Guided us through. But if you're really bent on going through there, I'll be your guide. What's it gonna be, Yami? Okay, let's run full speed to the spirit gate. Now stick close to me for a while. I don't want you getting lost. <clears throat> All right. Oh. I have a feeling of that Isun actually won't wait for you, but Kai did, so you have... Oh, damn. So you have to keep up with him.
Oh, they didn't see that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, you don't really want to start running too fast because then you will easily outpace Ism. So I am just trying to oh, taste the slowdowns. I'm just trying to keep a uh, an even pace with him, which means that you don't yeah that you don't use the R2 to uh, increase your run speed. Like the three stages of run speed for Rami. So there's the basic speed, the increased speed, and the fastest one. Uh, and you... Whoa! You run slightly faster when you use R2. But pe you guys know this. But yeah, so basically I'm just trying to keep going with the basic run speed. Which is as fast as Ison goes. Because I don't really want to run faster than him. Oh god. Oh, I need to get past this. Oh good. Okay, yeah, we don't need any more time sinks. Oh, not this. Should be fine if I just stick close to the edges. Is what I would like to say, but apparently it was not fine. This forest is out to get me. I'm just not imagining things. Oh man. It is out to get me. Can I actually run past this one? I think so. Oh. Oh, oh okay. I just have to jump on the wall. Jump. There we go. Ouch. Oh. Not enough momentum. Uh, I do think that if you run the wrong way, you will end up in the beginning or something. I don't remember. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. Hmm. Okay. Let's save before we keep moving. gate. Nobody knows when it was built or even who built it. All we know is that it's been here since the age of myths. And that's a whole lot older than even old man Ishaku. The Ponkel Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. 
It is said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. But I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice if Alika is on the other side of this thing. Uh, but I thought it was only the chief who could do it. So how, how can you open the gate? Or is it because you have this sword? Which is, I don't know, something like... What this, I, yeah. Wait a minute, what was the name of Isen's sword again? Wasn't that the same name that... Uh, hmm. Boy, old man Ishaki would have my head if he knew what I just did. Let's just keep this between you and me, Ami. Just look at that light. Looks way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? Do you have the guts to go on through it? If you turn back now, after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Hmm? Okay. Hello again, Isun. And... Amateras, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I have never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? And how the heck did you get this far into Yashbet to begin with? Ah, you must be talking about this forced power to confuse beasts. Indeed, we half-man, half-beast Oina should feel the effects. But it seems the Sacred Sword Katone has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The Wall of Ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens. When Ketone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Ketone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, this spirit gate should be just a thing. I'll give those monsters of misfortune a taste of Ketone. Okay, wait! We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Lika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're gonna find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Katone. This guy... No, wait, Amy. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. <laughs> 